Hello, this is Lucinda Brown with Bible Buying Guide, and today we're looking at the NLT Art of Life Bible, produced by Tyndale and 2K Denmark. We were provided this Bible in exchange for an honest review. Now, when you first get it, it has this thin cardboard little sleeve, whose only real purpose is to give you a barcode and some sales info without messing up this much thicker cardboard slip case that they intend for you to keep it in with this pretty line drawing on the front and the gold I guess that's the sun behind it the Bible itself is a dark teal cloth overboard it has a sewn binding and a matching one matching ribbon bookmark gloss on one side not on the other it measures nine inches tall it's just slightly wider at nine and a half inches wide and is one and three quarter inches thick with white paper the end papers are this blue green watercolor effect look now one thing i have noticed when doing reviews is that my pictures of blue green don't always turn out exactly the right color and even if they do especially watching this on YouTube your monitor might be adjusted slightly different than mine and it might come out a slightly different shade of blue green so this is a dark teal but it might look slightly different in person than what you see on your monitor It is laid out in a two-column paragraph format. Lists look like lists. Poetry is set in stanzas. Fairly typical NLT two-column layout. Although these are nice wide columns, since it's a wide book. We have a, about a 7 8 inch inner margin. Three inch wide columns of text and just barely shy of a two inch outer margin. Now they wanted to give you the wide margin both for the visual space and the visuals that'll be with some of the artwork that we'll show you in just a minute and so that you would have room to do your own work, artwork or write in it if you wanted to. It is black letter with the only the additional color being this turquoise or teal that they have for the section headings for the page numbers for the book names and the chapter numbers up at the top the chapter numbers within the text are still the black they're actually drawn so they have a bit of shading this is a 10 point font the only footnotes are the NLT translation notes and they're always found in the bottom right hand corner this these are the notes for all of this the only time they'd be over here is when this is the last page of a book this is a nice layout it's very readable this paper is really smooth one thing we did notice is that with such smooth paper and such large pages that down like this you don't have any problems but if you tip it up like this they do have a tendency to slide to droop down and if you're not careful you might get a few crinkles when you close it up especially or when you turn large sections of it if you're using it up like that now one of the main features of this Bible is all this beautiful ink line drawings. They're done by Dinah Dinoza. I hope I'm saying that right. I don't speak Russian, so that's what it looks like to me. They have these little tiny drawings at the end of a book and on the either side the book name. And then there are drawings ranging from those little tiny ones to ones that are just 
in the outer column that take both columns or that do go the full width of the page. These drawings are of all the living things in the Bible. Plants, animals, and other creatures, and 150 portraits of people from the Bible. The intention was to draw people into God's Word by showing off His creation, all the wonderful things He has made. And making the Bible feel more real and concrete by showing you where all these plants and animals um, that we can see and touch and today are mentioned in the Bible and showing you these pictures of people so that maybe you can relate to them a little bit more. There are also four of these panoramic view drawings. This one is of the wilderness. And all of this artwork is gorgeous. I think they have done a good job of drawing you into the Bible through the artwork. Each picture includes one of these little captions with a name. In the case of the plants and animals, the scientific name and a reference verse where it might be where it is referred to, and then about the plant, including sometimes cultural significance or biblical significance. And then if there's more about that, same thing, where to find that in the Bible, same plant or person. The ones for the people are very much the same, except they have the definition of the person's name and they're generally a synopsis of their life that sometimes includes what we can learn from them. This is a beautiful Bible. They talk about it being a coffee table book, and I can see this sitting on the coffee table. A lot of people here in the South have a family Bible sitting on their coffee table, and if you didn't have a coffee table or wanted something a little more Modern, I can see this being an excellent Bible to have sitting out to either to possibly start discussions and to encourage you to read your Bible more often. This would also make a good journaling Bible, an at home journaling Bible, because at four pounds, this is not something you're want to, going to want to carry with you. And you especially wouldn't want to carry it with you without it being in that slipcase with the, the slick pages. All in all, this is a very nice Bible and we're glad to finally get to see the finished product that 2K Denmark showed us a sneak peek of a couple of years ago when we were in Nashville. And if you want more information about this Bible, if you'd like to see a few more pictures, you can follow the link below to our website. You can also see reviews of other Bibles there. In the links below and on our website, we also have links to stores where it can be purchased. Most of them we do get a small commission to help keep Bible Buying Guide running. And of course, if you like our reviews, please like, subscribe, and possibly ring the notification bell. Thank you, and have a nice day.